is starting to to grip the land and it's starting here um, it's starting here up in the mountains And we are off um, and it's called cold as a witch's um, some parts of the witch <laughs> it's really cold um, yeah I'm going to spend the night here uh, by a very special uh, place uh, I'll tell you the story if you stick around um, tomorrow I will be climbing uh, a mountain uh, called uh, the castle so this will be two videos probably and uh, yeah I'm a little bit uh, excited but also I think it's you know driving up here from uh, autumn weather straight into the winter it's uh, <laughs> quite something. I'm looking now straight at a mountain covered in snow. I'm here with my friend uh, Ruben. Hi. <laughs> um, he invited me up here uh, because uh, he, uh, he wants to see me suffer in the cold. So here we are uh, in a tiny tent. Um, it's not so tiny if you're a rather small person, but I'm a rather large person. So yeah, it is tiny for me. Um, the good thing is that it keeps the heat better than if it was a big tent. We will have a campfire, we will have dinner. Um, and after that, I will be snug as a pug in a rug. <laughs> lying here in my sleeping bag uh, and I have downloaded uh, the wind in the willows to my mp3 player yes I use an mp3 player to listen to audiobooks because I'm a dinosaur um, so yeah I plan to be comfortable I changed socks I'm using uh, seal skins uh, but now I have the a warmer one on because it's uh, it's getting cold they're not wet they are actually dry even though it's, it's just leather but these are not for winter in my opinion but they're uh, okay now okay for this weekend
you know, I I think that <clears throat> YouTube has failed my, uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm has uh, failed my, my channel tremendously. Because I know that when I make a video like this and I upload it here on my main channel, instead of uploading it on the outdoors channel, then um, it will perform poorly because people, most people, the majority of the people watching my, my main channel, they're not, they're not interested in the outdoors. They might say that they are, but they're not. I know what they are, not you necessarily. If you're still watching, you're probably not one of those guys. And, and what they are interested in, those who are by now stopped watching, <laughs> is seeing someone sitting there ranting about someone who is to blame for something negative happening to them. I'm sick and tired of that mentality. I'm sick and tired of the anti-intellectualism. I'm sick and tired of the stupid things that people say, you know, that make no sense at all. Okay. I will just... Uh, Listen to my to the audiobook a little bit, and then I'll I'll call it a night. I'll see you tomorrow morning. It's almost four, four in the morning. I usually get up at five. Uh, still a couple of hours of darkness left. Uh, yeah. Breakfast. I think it's cold outside. Hmm. I will uh, take the tent down now and uh, drive. First walk to the car and then drive across the valley because I want to start climbing the castle at sunrise. Yeah, here we are. You can see the reflection of the license plates on the car, sir. <clears throat> I don't suppose you can see it on the, on the GoPro. I'm uh, listening to a radio program about uh, the Chinese uh, on the moon. They landed on the dark side of the moon. Uh, take, they, they've apparently taken samples <laughs> from the ground, from the soil, and uh, and I've I, I'm so fascinated by everything science, basically, um, and it's ironic that I chose a career as uh, 
as an artist, uh, you know, being a novelist. But at, at least being a novelist, I will say that I get to investigate, research and explore so many amazing topics. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a passion of mine. Winter has arrived. I'm using uh, my bicycle to get to the starting point down in the valley there We can safely say that winter has arrived. We are entering the, the uh, hiker's uh, cabin here. Um, I was here a few weeks ago and the weather was very different back then. It almost grew. bicycle here. Okay so here we are with on Mosbu and the big question is do I walk this way up here to the tallest peak which is the castle here on the Schlotte or do I walk change my plans and I walk up here to another peak. So this says seven and a half hour this says um six hours is it six hours yes six hours i'll attempt this one um we'll see how it goes but when um, the thing is that i have to time this because i don't want to go down in the in the darkness because of the drops and it's slippery now, uh, icy. Um, so I'll, I'll make an attempt to reach the peak um, before we're halfway to darkness or sunset, should I say? Ice. And I don't have spikes on my boots I'll continue a little bit and see how it goes and this surrounding me here ladies and gentlemen is the real world it's out there just go out and grab it feel it walk it hike it swim it yeah and by the way this is how memories are made Yeah, my uh, Garmin GPS watch, uh, it has uh, <laughs> a 
my uh, age and weight and, and so on in the system there. So it, it just told me that uh, someone like me, uh, because of my activity the last 24 hours, uh, I need a longer recovery period after this. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll, uh, tomorrow I'll be, the, be in the gym doing heavy squats. Yeah, look, snow. So, last time I was here, we camped in the valley behind me. Um, and I might actually walk down that way on the way down because the, the first ascent there was very icy. And especially if it's going to get dark, I'm very tempted to just continue up there to the peak. Um, going down here, in uh, on the ice in the dark. No, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, so I might go go down there instead. Yeah, feeling great. Feeling great. Um, but also, um, it's important, I think, to remember this these trips. You know and that good feeling that I am having now when you get back home you know next time you want to go out and it might be tempting to to stay there in your cozy house but there's something about this there's something about this that just makes you feel so alive there's nothing else like it So this happened. Well, the, the glass broke. I dropped the camera. I have a spare camera. Hopefully it will manage in the cold. But I don't know. I've never tested it in, uh, under these conditions before. <laughs> 